What would I do without you? You'll always have me. Has Elsa seemed weird to you? She seems like Elsa. There's this voice. Voice? What does that mean? Kingdom is not safe. So, should we sing? Let's sing. Let's sing. Okay. Uh, ooh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't hear know how to start. You. I can hear you, but I won't. But I won't. There you go. Some look for trouble. Now you do. While others don't. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's a thousand reasons I should go about my day. And ignore your whispers, which I wish would go away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jamal. <laughs> this is, this awesome. is amazing. Uh, you guys did an amazing job. Seven new songs on this. I, I know the first time nobody could expect, you know, Let It Go to, to be what it, what it was. But how, how do y'all approach this one and have to not compete with that, but add to the, the, the lore of Frozen and give these great songs? Was it? More of a challenge than the other compositions. I mean, it's it's always a challenge. Frozen One was a huge challenge, and we we had no idea what it wanted to be. We had to figure it out with uh, with the team at Disney, Jen Lee and Chris Buck, and us, and a bunch of other amazing people. Um, but this one, we were we thought of it as Act Two okay. uh, of the musical, and um, even though you know there was there, people knew the characters now, um, we looked at it as a chance to explore them more deeply. And, and Jen Lee and Chris Buck know these characters better than anybody. They found these questions that still needed to get answered. Like, yeah. she's, she's accepted herself, and she's been accepted, but now, what does she do with the power? Where, where does it belong? Yeah. And that's, that's where uh, this voice starts calling to her, and she has to follow it and you know, put her family uh, in, in jeopardy. Everything needs to change, and everyone needs to deal with change, which is hard. So that voice even was like a huge part of of the film, and just to get that rhythm or that cadence for that that call out or something like how 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 much was that uh, your composition to just give that singing out of? Well, it's it's actually a, um, a language in that composers have been using for centuries. Mm -hmm. It's called the DSERA. Uh, and it usually is a mythical call that sometimes mythical characters don't always get a happy ending. <laughs> um, and er Elsa is a very mythical person who has to face danger in order to find her place in the world. So that's what, that was sort of the basis of that call. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of, of how we actually went into right into the unknown, one of the things we were interested in is the into the unknown. It's an octave. Mm -hmm. It's it's a safe boundary. We know this. Into the unknown is wow. stepping your toe outside of the boundary, but which is what else back. is gonna do. Wow. And then into the unknown, she has gone off the base. She's gone way out beyond the boundary, um, and maybe into an enchanted forest that's gonna lead to a change and an epic adventure. Cool. Wow, you sound so much better than me. <laughs> I don't yeah. think it's, it's really, not doing it on purpose. it's apples and oranges, right? <laughs> Real quickly, just do the next right thing. Just can you tell me just a little about that track that seemed very key to Anna's story? That was one of the first songs we, we wrote that stayed in the movie, and it was like the, to go to this almost like a dirge, a song of grief um, was a really daring move, and we weren't sure it was the right move. But Jen, Lee, and Chris Buck were like, this is, we're staking the movie on this song. But when I was writing the lyric um, at, with Bobby, of course, um, I really felt like it was an important message. There are so many people out there who are dealing with loss and grief and breaking it down to just take that next step, just get up out of bed and make yourself a sandwich um, to try and, try and learn what I, you know, I don't know if Chris Buck has shared that story, but he lost his son during the first press junket. Oh, wow. um, and watching his bravery that he and his wife had uh, going forward and doing the next thing and the next thing to get through each day uh, was so inspiring to me, and it felt like it was a, a story we needed to tell.
Well, thanks for the inspiring music and compositions and for uh, showing me out on the, on the singing. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect.